people really struggle with this question because I don't know, all the answer choices feel like something you would read about or hear about in an English class in school where you're, you know, studying Shakespeare or the classics or whatever. They all sound like very nice little bumper sticker choices, right? They feel very kind of, um, you know, literary. Um, but there's an easy question that we can ask ourselves to make this, this answer just like pop out. So this comes from the idea of let's use a dumb summary, right? So we want to kind of know the most basic version of what's going on. And we, if we've done the no reading strategy, you know, we would have gotten that, that sense of the passage from doing all the other questions and then coming back to this one at the end, having, you know, seen what, what, other, what are the other questions focus on? Well, they're not about materialism. Right? That's like, you know, a materialistic society is a society that's based on like buying things and owning things. And this is not about that. They're not buying anything here. Like the gold thing is at the beginning, but this is not, he moves past the gold, right? The gold is, is in the past. Now we're, we're talking about the, the guy and his, and his daughter. So this is not about the society. Um, the moral purity of young children, the bittersweet brevity of childhood naivete, the restorative power of parental love. Well, okay, some of these seem tempting. Um, is the child really naive? That's kind of a negative word, right? Do they describe epi in any sort of negative way? Um, not really. And bittersweet is another word that has kind of a positive, negative connotation. And I think that most of the way they talk about the girl is that it's in a positive way. She's, a, she's good, right? So this negative aspect of this choice bothers me. It doesn't match with my sense of what the passage was saying. It was saying something positive, right? Positive. But B, D, those both seem positive. How do we know? Well, our simple question is, who is the main character? Right? Because when we have two choices that both seem like they might work, we can try to focus on the difference between them. And the big difference between choice B and choice D is that B is about the girl, Epi, and D is about the, the man, Silas. So who's the main character? Because that's probably what the major theme is going to be about, is, is about, you know, whoever the main character is, the, the theme is going to be centered around that main character. So how would we even know, right? It's not, a, it's not a subjective thing that we just kind of feel which character is the main character. They tell us. Where do they tell us? In the beginning, in the blurb. This passage is adapted from George Eliot, Silas Marner. It's named after the man. Originally published in 1861, Silas was a weaver and a notorious miser, but then the gold he had hoarded was stolen. Shortly after, Silas adopted a young girl, a young child, Epi, the daughter of an impoverished woman who had died suddenly. So even the blurb is mostly about Silas. The passage is about Silas. Yeah, Epi's important, for sure. But why is she important? She's important because it let him become a parent. D is the answer here, because Silas Marner is both the title of the passage and the main character. You get that from the blurb, and notice, just like that, it's like, oh, duh, now obviously it has to be D. This stuff works. This is why you always have to read the blurb. Um, in fact, let's make that our strategy for this. Always read the blurb. I think this becomes so much easier if we know the title of the passage and then we can focus on the main character and obviously it's about him, so we want the choice that's about him. This little stuff works. So always read the blurb, make sure you have a, a dumb summary based on what you can get out of the blurb or just the general repetition of the passage and then that's what we want to use to compare the choices here. The dumb, simple version usually is enough to get the right answer.